us so Vincent when you come up here because we're filming you. And I've been with Life Vantage since August of last year. Um, something that, a little bit about me, is I work at a chiropractic office. The doctor that I work for is Dr. Michael Warren in the back. Um, he's a doctor of chiropractic, and we utilize all sorts of stuff um, as modalities into our office. We use low-level light therapy or cold laser therapy um, to help with this as well. So I might talk a little bit about that, but mine's more on how Life Vantage can help you and in your process with dealing with uh, people you might come across or your own family members or friends who might have had a concussion. Um, we know one of our very own Sarah had had this happen and people a lot of times associate it with sports. It does not always have to be in sports when you get a concussion. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about how your stomach and gut are connected. So with the brain, the brain's very powerful. It's also very vulnerable. Not only is it your main hub of your nervous system and it runs your full body, but it's also very vulnerable. And just because you have a little bit of skin and a shell around it doesn't mean that it can't get hurt. It can take a mild little hit to the head to cause a mild concussion. So some facts about your brain. Your brain weighs three pounds. For every time you're a little bit further texting or a little bit more forward, it gets heavier and heavier. So knowing that sitting here right now, the more hunched and all that fun stuff that you are, the worse it is on your neck and your muscles. So I love everyone sits up straight. So the muscles are a huge part of your brain and the protection of your brain as well. So knowing that you always have good posture and that you have good form is a, is a very crucial part of keeping your brain also safe. You don't want to have those muscles weakened. <clears throat> oh, and my, one of my favorite parts is that you could be suffering this very moment, but you would have no idea. That's kind of crazy, huh? And you think, it's my brain, I should feel it, right? Unfortunately, no. So with concussions, concussions happen every year. There's 3.8 million a year that are reported, right? Yeah, here. And kids are a huge one. They end up in the ER. The big thing with concussions is we go to the, the ER for answers, but what you get is just a diagnosis. You don't get any treatment when you go to the ER. So the big part is as parents and as individuals for your own self, you should know that there are treatments that you can do at home as well as attend a chiropractor within six hours, preferably, after being you know, damaged. So making sure that you also know that sometimes we lag on miscommunication or misinformation that are, is, that's in the past. We are told to sit and relax, don't do much after a concussion, which actually you should get up and move around. Um, sitting and relaxing just kind of stagnates your body. You don't, I mean, yes, you might feel fatigued and they say don't go to bed, you know, don't go to sleep. Well, there's a reason for that. You want to have that blood flow going because there's a protein released when you do get a concussion. That actually weakens your gut. When it weakens your gut, what happens is the floor dies and then it just is a kind of a domino effect with your system. So everything kind of becomes weakened and then you're more susceptible to another concussion because your body is in a weakened state. So always know that there are treatments to it. See a chiropractor is your number one. After that, know that you're on a good probiotic, which I'm getting to that point. <clears throat> so how do you grade concussions? There's three different grades. There's a mild, as you can see, a grade one, a grade two, and a grade three. Uh, grade three is the most severe. Is it actually where you have brief loss of consciousness? Everyone thinks, oh, I, if I didn't black out, I didn't have a, a real bad concussion. You can get a mild concussion and still have symptoms. Um, now, do they last longer than 15 minutes? That's when you're in the medium. Um, I bet I got Sarah again. Sarah, for instance, she had a mild concussion. She didn't ever lose consciousness, but she had symptoms for almost a week, you know, of you know, not being able to go to the grocery store because it was just too much stimuli for her and having headaches and all that fun stuff. So concussions can last longer than 15 minutes or even a brief time. But children, this is where we get into um, the children part. So there are common symptoms. This is a good one to note. If you have a phone, take a picture. Um, the slides will be available when we um, get this up and going. So with that, know the symptoms. Know if you did get a concussion. Write them down. I mean, you only need a few of these to be considered a concussion. You don't have to have all of them. Um, but the biggest one is dizziness or uh, nausea, nausea because it's linked to your gut, right? So you get your, you get your um, balance and it's thrown off a protein so your system's recognizing it and that's kind of where the nausea comes in. So um, children, football. Football's always the picked on sport for concussions. 
Um, unfortunately, yes, there's a big risk for children. Um, we all know that high school athletes have this big push because they want to go to college and all that fun stuff and be good at their sport, but a concussion can really do long-term damage. And we're talking about, um, you know, mental disorders later down the road, uh, mood swings, uh, Alzheimer's, dementia, that's all linked to previous early concussions. <clears throat> and knowing that um, if it happens, rest. Get off, when, it, when in doubt, sit them out, right? So just, just always side on the um, side of caution and know if you have children or anything like that, make sure that they don't just go right back out to play. Um, we're talking about lifelong, <clears throat> lifelong damage, not just uh, a week of feeling bad because I didn't get to play, okay? It's better to sit out. Another big one was the weekend concussions. You don't even have to play a sport to get a concussion. We just heard about that. So, I mean, my two-year-old jumping on the bed, hits his head on the wall, he gets all dizzy and cries, has a little lump. Well, that's considered a mild concussion. He's two and can't describe his, his feelings to me, but I know enough of what your brain just went through by jumping on a bed and hitting it at a certain force can cause a concussion. So. Even know that you don't have to play a sport and we don't have to always pick on the sports knowing that you can still get a concussion. I had someone that spoke to me about their child who um, was on a rope swing and swung out and fell, the brook broke and fell straight onto their head. They were out for, she said, uh, over 15 minutes to 20 minutes. She's like, it was scary. Now that's scary to me hearing that because I can only imagine the damage of what was done to that brain. And he now has dizzy spells. He's six months post and he's still having dizzy spells. He can't concentrate. He's 17 years old. So think of lifelong damage that's going to do. But if she, she went to the ER like she was supposed to, but what did they do? I diagnosed you. You got a concussion. Did they treat him? No. Did they say go to a chiropractor? No, unfortunately, they didn't. It wasn't until they had spoke to someone who heard me at the last um, the last in February, uh, speak a little bit about it. She talked to her and right away took him to a chiropractor and within one adjustment, he was already feeling better. He can tell his equilibrium was a little bit better. He wasn't as dizzy, but he's 17. And I said, don't, don't give up even when he's feeling better. Continue that care with that chiropractor. If you can, she's up in the um, Northern area of the state. And I said, try to find someone who has Erconia FX. Um, that's what we use for our cushion protocols. It's uh, laser therapy is hand in hand with chiropractic when it comes to healing the brain, as well as life vantage products. So I'm gonna get to that here in just a minute. Because your diet is just as um, important as protecting your brain and the muscles, your diet is right there with it. So if you don't have good healthy flora in your stomach, you're gonna have a weakened system. And so making sure that you have good healthy flora is also a big part of all of that. And so, um, this is where I get excited and when I learned about my information, I realized there is a chance to prevent this or to minimize the damage after a concussion. So there's only a six hour window. Um, according to the Brown University, they talked about, um, they found that past, past six hours you start to have um, irreversible damage. So knowing that, that there is that split window but what if you were in preventative care to begin with? What if you were already had a system that was good flora, and you already had a system that had good brain food, and a system that was low on oxidative stress, and it could handle a mild to you know moderate uh, concussion? Wouldn't that be better? Say you are playing sports, you should have that preventative approach. So as I get into <clears throat> how Life Vantage can help, this is a huge one. I'm gonna go over a couple different products and kind of explain how this is gonna work. And as I go into that, I'm gonna take from a third party. I went to a convention with some of the doctors here for cold laser therapy, and Dr. Rob Silverman was talking about his protocol for concussions and what he does. And you'll see some, some words up here that you might recognize. And this is where I thought it was really interesting because I was a part of Life Vantage when I was attending this seminar, and I was blown away at, wow, Life Vantage really has everything you need when it comes to um, at-home care for treating a concussion and your gut as well. And so, <clears throat> as you can see here, he talks about protein, but this is initially after injury within one day. So if you were already taking it and you were already preventing it, you're gonna be a one, you know, one step ahead, if not five steps ahead of everybody else. So we're gonna get into here, but you see that little bottom one, little tiny? Oh, that's a good one, right? So with that being said, we're gonna talk about the upregulation of omega-3s. 
Omega-3s are crucial, especially when you want a high dosage of that for the brain health. And so our omegas are great because it also has the omega-7s. And if you are already taking them, you're already going to have nice, strong uh, joints and all of that in the system to begin with. So if you have an upregulation of the omega-3 to the, to the body, you're already in good hands. <clears throat> Next is uh, right here, this is a good one. Using glutathione um, after concussion reduces brain tissue damage on average 70%. So wow. think if you were already on for tandem and you were wow. already taking that. Think of what that can you know, help you with when it comes to brain damage. If this is, if you, you know, upregulating it within six hours to one day after it increases at 70%, what happens if you were already on it, right? Maybe that damage just gets that much smaller of a window, right? So that's a huge one. <clears throat> Next, so the probiotic. So when I was speaking with or listening to Dr. Rob Silverman talk about um, what's the best pro uh, probiotic for your gut, he named these five here on the on the your guys' left. And so I thought it was amazing. I put stars by the ones that are in our probiotic, all but one, right? But we have kind of two sister brother ones to that one that we do not have. And that's such a great product to have. And I remember thinking, oh my goodness, we have gold on our hands because not only do we have all of this flora, we also have the Wellmune that's a part of it too. Wellmune's huge. Keep your immune system up to date and healthy and thriving is also a huge part for your brain health as well as your gut health. So that's really exciting. So with the physique profile, I would love everyone if you can screenshot this or shoot this or if you're at home, look this up on YouTube. This is a video, it's a six minute video, totally worth the six minutes of your time to watch it. If you look up on YouTube, this explains its physique probio, how BioTrack works and why it's important. Why are they different than all the other probiotics on the market? This will tell you. I, I put this on my Facebook page too for Crater Chiropractic. Um, it is a crucial thing if you're in life managed to watch this video. This is gonna give you that little bit of knowledge to let you know, hey, we have something special here. And so, who knew that the shape of the pill made all the difference? So, you'll learn that in that video. Um, next, oh, I see multiple people drinking Axio right now and I love it. Axio is what fuels our office at Crater Chiropractic. We all love Axio and it's funny because you. We start telling patients about it, and they're like, well, do you drink it? And I'm like, yeah, I'm drinking it right now. Like, <laughs> we all drink it. <laughs> it's like, who's drinking the Kool-Aid at Creative Chiropractic? We all drink an Axio. And so, Axio is a huge, huge thing. And I'll get in, I love that they have decaf for those people who don't drink caffe you know, caffeinated. And the flavors are great. That's something that you don't hear very often, that I actually like the taste of these. My favorite is the grape and the cherry, and then I also like the raspberry. So, I like, all, I like multiple flavors. But the benefits of Axio um, really are what does it for me. It can taste like crap, and I would still drink it because of the benefits of it. <laughs> I'm like, really? I don't really care. I'm like, yeah, it's a little vitamin E. It's fine. Um, and really, it's just the what it was meant for and what it's made for for the brain is very impactful. And so knowing that anyone with ADHD, um, autism, um, any type of brain, uh, I have it for PTSD patients, um, I have them drinking this because this is such a huge part for your brain and even for preventative So if you have Alzheimer's in your family or dementia or you know someone who suffers from PTSD Which I know Life Vantage has a really good veterans um, Page as well because I mean my husband's a vet and he loves Axio So this is something that's very close to my to my heart when it comes to brain health and what it can do for you and it actually helps you sleep better at night, which is kind of funny because it kind of gives you that bump. But by the end of the night, it's I can sleep like a baby with it. So it doesn't give you too much. And then this is right off of the Life Vantage page. This is what they stand for, you know, health. And it's here now. We just got to get the word out. We got to let people know that we have these products and that we can help. We can help people. And so the big thing is knowledge. Knowledge is going to be your key to this and knowing more than um, what unfortunately has been fed in the past to, to individuals. Um, old information is kind of the, the uphill battle for us. So people are set in their ways, they're set in their knowledge. And so we have to bring um, to the table this new information and this new science. So my big thing is just knowledge is key and we always seek wisdom and it will help you in your everyday adventures. So, 
any questions, I have my information up there if you want to screenshot it too. Um, have any, you can email me, call me, whichever you prefer. But any questions? Does anyone have any questions? What is school design? Hi, you want to come up here for a minute? Here. Everybody give them a round of applause. Yay. I'm sorry, what was the question? <clears throat> What is glutathione, and how does that help? Glutathione, okay, so this is the awesome thing about glutathione. I'm bouncing around in my seat while she's up here talking about it, because glutathione is uh, one of the three enzymes that are produced inside of our nucleus that are released into the cell. Superoxygen juice mutase, glutathione catalase. These are endogenously produced. They go out and they scavenge free radicals. This is the amazing thing about glutathione, though. We're seeing huge uh, breakthroughs in MS, Parkinson's with glutathione. And these are exogenous ways of giving it. So when she says you're supposed to be taking the glutathione, Rick says it best. It's like throwing tennis balls at a chain link fence. You get one through every once in a great while. So I'm having to put 10,000 times the amount of glutathione in a vein to try to get any response at all. Protandum works through an NRF2 activation. It's not a supplement, it's an activator. So it's reaching in and it's flipping the switch inside of that uh, little nucleus yep. and releasing this from the inside out. You're getting a huge bolus of glutathione, super oxygen dismutase, yep. and catalase. So it's like, the you know what, the triple crown of, of this. This is how our, our bodies function when we're 20, when we're eight, when we're 10. Do you remember, mm -hmm. anyone remember being 20 in here? Chase, you remember being 20? <laughs> 20, 20, 20 year olds. 20 yet. 19. 20 year olds don't care about sleep. It's an option, right? You all remember that. Waking up, going days on end, going, yeah, I'm a little tired, but I'm fine, kind of thing. You can eat what you want. You can drink what you want. You, you felt fine, and there's a reason for that. We have this release endogenously of these three extremely important enzymes that scavenge free radicals at the rate of one million electrons per second. This is how we put the fire out in the brain too. Yeah. Awesome. Woo!